this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. Hello, and this is MD Geek 45 What we're going to be doing today is making an LED cube. This is what we have for the kit. It comes in a little baggie, as you can see. Okay, we have some header sockets. Okay, lights. IC board, resistors, and we have IC sockets and the ICs to go with it. And this should be a complete kit. If you order this on eBay, it's the IC station. ICK059A. When you order it, you don't actually get any instructions. So that makes it a bit confusing, right? But we're here to try to alleviate some of that confusion. I've already made one, I gave it to my sister. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. I thought I had the video, but somehow it got, I don't know. <laughs> so you have one, two, three, four, five resistors. We're going to set those to the side. And those, the IC will provide you with the information that you need to know. But like I said, they, they could have included instructions to make it a little bit easier. Now you have your LEDs. You want to test these out before you actually put them in your cube. The best way I find to do that is to take your Uno. And if you have one of these shields, it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to plug it in. And the reason why I said if you have one of these shields and make it a lot easier is because all you have to do, you see here, this little roll here is 5 volt and this little roll here is ground. So you could simply take your LED your long leg is your 5 volt, your short leg is your ground, and you can touch it to these. And as you can see, it lights up. And that makes it super simple because all you have to do is go through and check each LED. Might want to thin the leg out a little bit. Just check each LED and make sure that it lights up. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this for this full bag so we make sure we don't have no blown LEDs and I will be right back. I now have all my LEDs tested but in the case that you don't have this shield. Let me take this off. And you just have, say, a Uno or this kind of Uno or even the Arduino Uno. You can simply connect your 5 volt to your ground. Plug it into a breadboard. Okay, so we have our ground. And we're going to plug in the 5 volt. You 
could plug into your breadboard and any breadboard will do. And you could test it like that. Remember the long leg is the positive. Short leg is negative. And you could test it like that. So it's very simple to test your LEDs, but just make sure that you do test your LEDs and also use a resistor. I really should have used the resistor there. Okay, so once your LEDs are tested, next thing you want to do, let me just move this off the way, is take a good look at your board. Okay. When you look at your board, you're going to see a couple different things. And they may be a little bit confusing. I'm going to try to explain it for you. Okay. You're going to see groups of four holes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Then you're going to have another roll of four. Okay. That roll of four is going to be called D16, D19. These slots are used for inserting the LED cathodes. All right. I'm going to get more into it, so don't worry about it. The ones on the board below or to the side of it the one two three four five six seven eight that's going to be the zero through fifteen slide of the diagram it's used for inserting the led anode we're going to get into it don't worry about it now then you're going to see these four sections here all you have to do is read it is for the resistors that we have supplied here okay then you're gonna see these two they're for our shift, shift registers we're gonna put our IC sockets in those okay the next thing you're gonna notice is these here those are gonna be where it's gonna fit on top of your UNO is gonna be inserted with these so that's what these are for we're gonna solder those on okay well they're not gonna fit in there now but these are to be soldered on so it can be inserted into the UNO we're gonna do a little bit more preparation I'm gonna take you every step of the way so don't get frustrated just keep going with the videos I'll be right back And I'm just going to grab some helping hands here just to help me hold this, hold it. So let's just move that out the way. I'm going to clip it in the ways that it does not mess with the traces. So right there should be about good I'm sorry about the lighting I down the light <laughs> so hopefully you can see it well one two three. now what we're looking for with the socket is the little half circle you're going to line it up with the half circle that's on the IC and insert it. That's how that's going to fit. And also with the second socket as well. That's where your ICs are going to fit in. What we're going to do is we're just going to solder them in first. Then we'll come and we're just doing a dry run so you can see. So we're going to start with our resistors okay 
can just pull the paper off of them. The resistors. I got a finny in here. I'm sorry, keep in mind I'm trying to keep everything on camera. So your first resistor fit like that. Your second resistor will fit like this. Okay, so now you begin to see how this is going to work. Okay. Okay, so we have a little bit more light on the situation. We're going to work on the headers that fit into our UNO. And here you want to count these pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we want to cut our header to fit. Now cutting our headers to fit to the UNO or breaking them apart, our first section is going to be 8. Okay, so you want to count them all. 2, 4, 6, 8. So you want to get it right at where it's going to be. And this is some needle nose pliers. Okay. Holding tight. You want to get another set of pliers. Position it. Bend. Okay. I am Ebony Beach and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.